You're gonna use your seafood to create grilled cheese. Oh, Ooh. nice. Ooh. Fish and cheese? I'm kind of horrified. Cheese has such a strong flavor, and fish is regularly quite delicate. If you put cheese and fish together, the fish is usually just destroyed. Fish and cheese, it's not a traditional pairing. I go for a smoked mozzarella. I know sable fish and smoke work really well together, and I think it's going to be a complimentary flavor. The biggest challenge of mixing sable fish with grilled cheese, you know, you've got a really oily fish, and you've got cheese, which is, you know, really fatty, so you've got to have something crunchy and acidic. So I'm using pickled green tomatoes to cut the richness of the fish and the cheese. Hopefully, it's going to bring everything together. I can eat grilled cheese sandwiches all day. I actually do sometimes, and uh, I'd like to think of myself as a grilled cheese connoisseur. I think lobster and brie complement each other really well, and we'll make an awesome grilled cheese sandwich. I'm making this curried ketchup. I know that to win, I've really got to elevate my dish and make sure it's really tasty. Making a uh, Dungeness crab grilled cheese sandwich with crab and tomato bisque. Woo! My biggest challenge is matching cheese with crab. I was trying out some gouda and some fontina. I think I'm definitely going to go with the gouda. Putting Dungeness crab cheese and black truffle together is definitely a unique concept. I haven't heard of anyone doing it before. I think the judges are going to be really interested about how it tastes. I got clams. I got clams. Clams, cheese, not my ideal grilled cheese, but my mind already starts racing. I'm going to make a clam cream cheese filling and then put some fontina and some Havarti, really nice melty cheeses on either side. Putting mayonnaise on your grilled cheese, it's not like butter. You put it in a pan, it's not going to burn. It's just going to get everything nice and crispy. I think it'll be good. I really don't follow convention, so seafood and cheese, I'm cool with that. Shrimp on toast is a really classic Southeast Asian street food where it's a shrimp puree on top of toast. I puree the shrimp with a bunch of aromatics of ginger, shallots, lemongrass, a little bit of curry paste. I'm making a little shrimp butter. I then take the shrimp head butter, and I fold that into the buffalo mozzarella and make it into a spread. <laughs> that is good. And then I fry it so the outside's crisp. And I'll put it onto the grill just to get a little bit of grill marks. <laughs> Hi, Phil. How are you? Phil, how are you? I pulled a uh, BC sablefish. And what did you do for cheese? A smoked mozzarella. Oh, nice. Yeah. The sable fish, I slice it really thin and then crisped it up. And there's some pickled green tomatoes, charred frisé, and then there's a Casa Toronto olive remoulade on the side. That smoked mozzarella comes through. Smoked sable fish is a big thing on the West Coast, so I kind of wanted to echo that. Thank you, Phil. Thank Pleasure. you, Chef. Thank you. Hi, Wallace. Hey, Eden. How are you? Good, Chef, how are you? Pleasure. 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 What do we got? Taking you to street food Thailand, Southeast Asia. Ooh. A little shrimp toast. It's got shrimp that's marinated with Southeast flavors. And then it's got a mozzarella spread that has a little tom yum, lemongrass, and then a nice yellow tomato on top. What's your favorite cheese? Can I say cheese strings? <laughs> oh, not to him. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is there a cheese string in here I don't know about? <laughs> no, there isn't. Oh, OK. Thank you very much. Thank you, Wallace. I got clams. <laughs> Nice. I like cheese a lot. I usually put quadruple cheese on pizza. God You're bless talking you. to the God cheese bless man. You. So I used Fontina and Havarti. I used cream cheese and put in my clams and lots of lemon and parsley, hot sauce, garlic. So how are you feeling about your grilled cheese right now? Um, it's not the prettiest looking thing I've ever seen. Did you rub the bread with garlic or something there? Mayo. Mayo. Mm. So I see the classic grilled cheese and tomato soup. I see a lot of truffle in there. Yeah, so I've got some mild Gouda, Dungeness crab, black winter truffle, and then the bisque is made with tomatoes, Dungeness crab, Armagnac, and this sandwich is meant to dip in the soup. And why did you choose Gouda? Dungeness crab, when it's freshly cooked and picked like this, can be quite mild. So I wanted to go for a milder cheese. Very interesting. Thank you very much, Chef. Thanks. Hi, Hayden. Hi, Eden. How are you? I picked lobster today. Ooh, that's a lucky pick. Yeah, I think things worked for the best. You've got toasted brioche, thick crust, a little caramelized onion, gently poached lobster, and then the buffalo bliss, which almost eats like brie. Did you leave the rind on the cheese? I did, yeah, yep. Thank you very much. Sir. You're very welcome. Thank you. I pulled trout. I tried to do a play on my dad's old tuna melt. They use a cream cheese, add a little bit of sriracha in it, tomato, pickled jalapeno, brie, and then on top is a crispy gruyere that I just uh, toasted in the oven. Woo! It's got a huge chunk of jalapeno. That's a little spicy, probably. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you very much, Thanks. Chef.
All right, Afram, please tell us who won the challenge. Phil. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. There you go, buddy. Nice to show. Hey. Oh, thank you. Yeah.